you have to do the intro again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Coop man, what's up, brother? What's up, man? What's going on? Not much, dude. Hey, we are Foul Mouth Football. It is your boy Palermo, just hanging with my boy Coop. What's up? Not much, brother. Glad to be back here. I know it's uh, week two. We're just getting started back here on this cast, but you know what? Looking forward to it. Uh, couldn't wait to get this back up and running again. Same. Um, yeah, I uh, I like how we uh, we're we're about to break it down a little bit differently than last year. Uh, first and foremost, we'd really like to just thank everybody out there who is subscribed to our channel. It really does mean a lot to us. We got about two hundred and fifty subscribers, I think, to the yep. Foul Mouth Football uh, cast there. So uh, the profile on, on YouTube. So um, this year we're going to change it up a little bit. Last year we just simply went through each and every week's games and we picked. We picked against the spreads. Yep. Uh, this year we're going to do a little bit different. We're just going to break it down per division um, and just kind of give our quick little takes on each team in the division. Of course, there's only four teams in each division, so it makes it a little bit easier for us. Um, and this week we're going to start out with the good old AFC East, man. So I know this is near and dear to your heart, Coop. So I'm going to let you kick this yes, one sir. off. Let's go, baby. Uh, yes, all of a sudden turned into uh, maybe a competition at the top uh, top spot in the Ooh, division, right? Wee. Yeah, boy. You've got yourself the Dolphins, Bills, Jets, and Patriots. Let's go. Let's go, give, baby. Give me your take. Let's go. We got uh, we got the the Dolphins here coming back from a, a big deficit. We got Tua with four sixty nine six tutties, buddy. Jalen you know Waddle, Tyreek Hill, big supporter of Tua this year. Come on, <laughs> I'm rooting. I'm fist pumping. Come on, let's go. I don't care what anybody says. That game, <laughs> no matter Tua or not, that was an incredible game, bro. I was it going was awesome. absolutely wild. I gotta tell you, man. I had three games going this weekend. I had one of those, you know, that that game was in the bottom right corner. And I got to tell you, man, at like the middle of the third quarter, I was like, dude, I got to turn a different game on. This is not yeah. like I was like, this so is I want to turn a different game on. Right. I didn't though. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. Cause you know what? Witnessed something special there. What was it special. three touchdowns in like three minutes or something like that? It, it was crazy. crazy. Yeah. It was, uh, it was something I've never seen before from the dolphins. But one thing I don't want to take away from the Ravens is, Lamar Jackson looks like the MVP of the league. If if he were yeah. to win that game, I think everything MVP talk is for real. He did he yeah. he made history. That Dude, he's game. a boss, man. I, I gotta tell he's you, a man, boss. I'm glad I'm glad he's he's still exceeding everybody's expectations from when he got drafted. Right. Same. I mean, he was he was what 32nd pick overall by the Ravens back yeah. then. And everybody said he should move to running back, he should move to receiver, whatever. Dude, he's a quarterback. He's the Threw reason why your team is even in it half the time. So give give the guy a break. He's playing well. He's an awesome athlete. Just enjoy it while he's here. You know, Stud. pay the man, right. right? Exactly. Exactly. All right, we're getting off topic here. We're yeah, yeah, okay. We got the bills. <laughs> we got the bills. I mean, Ken Dorsey has that offense on fire. They look good. All They're cylinders. decimating teams, defense, front seven. I mean, everybody is just. Mm -hmm. They're on. Uh, they're the best team in the league, hands down, no question. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Nobody better. No one's playing tougher. They're they're putting out teams in three quarters in. Derrick Henry couldn't do anything. It, it was just, it was a shit show. Really it's tough it to really watch, was. man. It is yeah. it's tough to watch. I mean, seventy two points for. 17 points against, man. I mean, they are the number one offense and the number one defense in the league. Yeah, at this point. Them. yeah. <laughs> again, the their biggest opponent is themselves. <laughs> yeah, because they take the, they take each other out, you know, trying to trying to make the hits. So I know. I mean, no disrespect. I hope he's all good. You know what I'm saying? But right. Um. Uh, yeah, man, they are the best team, hands down, no question. Hands so, down. So yeah, good. there's gonna be it's gonna be a tough team to beat in that division, let alone in the entire league. So, yeah. Uh, Bills Bills numero uno in that AFC East. For uh, sure. what, what do you think about your your Dolphins, bro? What do you think about your boys? 
Good, man. Number two. Uh, feeling good about as him? As of right now. Feeling good enough as seeing all the other AFC teams, feeling good enough for them to get a playoff spot at yeah. this point. I know it's so early, but everybody's just like the Titans. There's a bunch of teams that you thought were going to be decent. The Colts laying you know, an egg. So right. we'll see. I mean, the um, AFC, the AFC, I mean, even the AFC West, I said it in the beginning, man. Everybody was like, yo, there's a probable chance that the whole, all four teams in the AFC West. Nah, I'm sorry. I said it from the beginning, man, it ain't happening. Yeah. So I like the Dolphins. The kind Not of looking good. Yeah. I like the Fins. I all like right. them, bro. I, all right. I like it too, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, buddy. Uh, right. Jets, big game from yeah. the Jets. Like, you, you like to see it, dude. You know what I mean? It's it's not always – you don't always want to see the same teams getting in, doing the same thing, piss-pounding other teams. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. just not fun. It's not good for the game of football. It's not good for people, you know, to sit down on their couch and watch their favorite team get their ass handed to them every single week. <laughs> it's nice to see new teams with new faces doing new things. Yep. That's it. I agree. Rookie mm-hmm. receiver, Flacco, looking yeah. good. Wilson is him, dude. I think so. I think, you know – yeah. Give him, give him time to work with. I mean, he's doing that with Flacco. Flacco's 150 years old, but you know, I right. mean, he's still he can still sling the rock. You know, I mean, good for him. Yeah. It's nice to see him still doing things. But uh, once Wilson gets back and feeling good, I think the two of them it's going to be a nice little tandem at some point. Uh, Brees Hall is really good too. You know, he I is. mean, can't can't knock that. They got a nice little one-two punch there with him and Michael Carter. But mm-hmm. you know. They got uh, one thing I will say is, and this is not taken away from the Jets at all, but the Browns defense is a joke right now. There was so many, I don't know if you watched the game at all. I kind of watched the highlights and I was, yeah, (laughs) flipping back and forth, but there was just so many big plays given up by the Browns secondary. They were just, I don't know if it was communication issues or what, but uh, the Jets just had them on their, you know, on their heels the whole game. So I was funny for the Jets. Two of the biggest comebacks in the league were in the same division, right? The Jets and the Dolphins. So. I know some, some wild stuff this weekend, man. That's for sure. And then we got Mackie Jones. <sighs> Jones balones, man. He's not. He's I'm sorry. Caca. He's, <laughs> he's terrible. No, he just, I don't want to be negative out. on him, but he's just not it, man. He, no. he just, they're he not doing missing well. throws. No. 24 no. points. Come on. What are we averaging? 12. <clears throat> We're yeah, doing 12. He, he, and it was the run game. Really? That uh, if you watched uh, the game, it was just uh, what Stevenson and Harris were really just kind of carrying the load for them. Yeah, and no sacks yeah. for the Steelers defense. Harris played so, well though. Yeah, he did play well. Good. I mean, Steelers lost their number one player on defense. Yeah. You know, TJ Watt out for the week of the year. So I mean, torn, torn, titty, torn titty. titty, titty. You know, torn, <laughs> that's torn a, titty. The pectoral. Yeah, it's that's you're not that's coming their back whole anytime. Whole defense, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's a, uh, it's a strong division. You know, I, I think the dolphins and the bills really obviously head up that division. I think they're going to be, you know, 10 plus win teams, both of them, of course. Um, I like the bills to win the, the division for sure. sure. They're definitely the number one team on the block until somebody else knocks them off. I like yeah, the man. dolphins to squeak in. Uh, if they continue to play like they are, I mean, they're only getting better. I mean, McDaniel's got that whole entire locker room believing at this point. Um, you know, he's a dorky fella, but I got to tell you, you know, sometimes it doesn't Open take, the old. yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> the old smoke. Um, <laughs> it, it, listen, you don't have to be an ex player. You don't have to be the smartest guy in the room. You just got to have your team believing in what you're doing, right? Yeah, man. If you can, if you can get a team to buy in on what you're doing, which clearly, I mean, they felt strongly enough about Tua to bring in Tyree Kill, who was hands down one of the best receivers in the league, oh, right? Oh, for sure. Game changer, I mean, yep. between, between him and, and Waddle, I mean, they're number one and number three, you know, for season leaders right now for, for receiving yards. Yeah, it's and, crazy. you know, I mean, come on. Tua is the quarterback. And you know what? Good for him, man. He's he's. It's one game. I know he might have blown his game. load. It is what it is. But you know what? At least it's something to build off of. It gives him confidence. It gives that team confidence moving forward. They're playing the Bills this Sunday at home. They're a five and a half point underdog. But yeah, you know, I mean, five and a half points. You know, Oof. at home, it could it could happen. You never yeah, know. Yeah, it could. At happen. any given Sunday. I'll drop my pants if it happens right now. He's not getting any. Thank you. What I like to be there when that pant drop happens. Holy. (laughs) He just did that thing in a while. One good thing. You have to look pretty hard. (laughs) But yeah, man, it should be. It'll be a good game. Hopefully, it'll be a good game. I don't want it to be done in the third quarter. So yeah, I know that was tough. And you know, quick, quick little thing here, quick little tidbit before we we head out here. Um, In three football leagues, 
One of them, I'm 2-0 and in. One of them, I'm 1-1 and in. And the other one, I am 0-2 in, right? The team that I have with, uh, that I'm 2-0 and in, I don't even feel the most confident in, but I was up by a landslide in this week. Um, and I had to play against good old Josh Allen, Joshua ah, Allen, the Wyoming Josh Eagle. Yep, absolutely. I got to tell you, man, he needed a Herculean effort out of him. And of course, what does he do? He puts up that Herculean effort and he almost beats me i was miserable Ooh. last night watching that game if i would have if, if he would have played all four quarters i would have lost but thank oh. goodness the bills are that good that they had an opportunity to bring in good old case keenum you know uh, so oh i'm going with God. that good yeah. old josh he is hercules <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's it, man. AFC East, man, strong division right now. I like the Bills. Obviously, they're number one. They're 2-0 and right now. I like the Dolphins this weekend as a wild card this year. They're 2-0 and right now. Both offenses are playing excellent. Um, the Jets, you know, they're young. They're hungry. They'll get there at some point. Patriots, I don't like them to make the playoffs whatsoever. So um, that's the AFC East in our eyes right now. That's what I'm thinking. And honestly, one more thing. The percentages to make the playoffs of teams 2-0 and opposed to one and one or zero oh and two starts it, it the percentages are crazy Incredible. it's like i think it's like 40 percent or something like that chance if you're two and oh and then obviously it dips down as you go but it's like so. a point zero per point zero one percent chance or something if you go oh and two like is it it's like super small margin dude like no really kidding. really slim yep because i was i was really hoping we avoid that oh and two start for the old lions you know what i mean i mean we'll anything get, can we'll happen but yeah. yeah, we'll get to them in another another uh, cast here. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, that's it. We just want to do a quick little uh, snippet here. AFC East, we wanted to focus on this week. Um, yeah, we're we're foul mouth football. We really do it again. We can't reiterate this enough. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing as many. Um, we're gonna be putting out as many videos as we possibly can. You know, what I mean, we're gonna try to shoot for like two to three a week. Uh, gonna be quick little snippets like this. We're gonna focus on just you know divisions uh, as opposed to the whole league. We will talk about the whole league, but we're gonna break it down. Um, we're gonna do some fantasy football talk. We're gonna bring in some some special guests here and there. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try to do it all. We're gonna try to do a little yeah, bit man. more this year. Um, but yeah, glad to be back, man. We are foul mouth football. We really do appreciate you guys. Uh, if you haven't done so already, if you could just hit that subscribe button on our, our YouTube channel, um, we're going to do some live cast so that way you guys can come in and you can comment, you know, on what we're talking about and that'll be fun. Know, we'll have some fun this year. That's all. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? So we'll have some laughs. We'll talk about football. We'll talk about fantasy players, this, that we'll, we'll just go through it all. So. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. Well, hey, that's week one. Uh, well, technically week two, but that's our first uh, video. So, all right. We really do appreciate it. We are Foul Mouth Football. This is Palermo uh, signing off for Foul Mouth Football. That is the Coop Man. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.